This is Fox 49 News at 9. I was very scared, but I was talking to somebody the entire time. <laughs> the good Lord. People living in Ozark are concerned tonight after one of the storm shelters in town did not open up during last night's tornado warning. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Barnes and I'm Mike Landis. Now the shelter at the Ozark Community Center, the OC, it gets unlocked by staff or the police if there's a tornado watch. But thing is, last night uh, the weather got so bad so quickly there was not a watch issued before the warning did. Fox 49's Carissa Goodell joining us live outside the storm shelter in Ozark. And Carissa, the city's telling you they're trying to work on fixing that issue going forward. Yeah, Mike, Lauren, the city says they are working to get remote access to OC's storm shelter, and they do expect that sometime in the near future. But the woman I spoke to today says something needs to be done right now. That is uncalled for, not having those doors. Somebody there with key to let us in. 85-year-old Patricia Parsley uses a walker or cane to get around. Last night, she drove to the Ozarks Community Center to seek shelter from the storm. It seemed like hours you know, waiting for somebody to show up. And finally, nobody showed and we all, everybody left. You know, it's <laughs> became very obvious nobody was coming. Parsley was one of the many people stuck outside in the rain while the tornado sirens were going off because the OC shelter's doors were locked. Ultimately, we've been looking at the technology to, to prevent it from happening again because we recognize that, that fail safes need to be in place. For after hours, the city works with the Ozark Police Department to open the facility. They tell me police were responding to a car crash when the sirens went off. I, I, I can't imagine how scary it was, and so I, I look forward to making those positive changes so it doesn't happen like that again. Hayden Ponser is the interim parks director. He says this is the first time since the shelter opened 15 years ago that a situation like this has happened. Tornadoes don't leave you a message saying I'll be there at 6 o'clock tonight. You know, be ready for me. <laughs> they will have a drop down any time. Parsley says if it wasn't for a family who was also waiting outside the shelter, she wouldn't have been able to make it back up the hill. I was scared to death down there because I was scared for everybody. I thought we was, I thought we was all goners. And we would have been had it hit. And the city says to fix this problem, they will be giving out more keys to city employees who can open up this shelter. Now, it is important to note that this is not the only shelter in Ozark. There is another one at OTC's campus about five minutes away. Reporting live in Ozark, I'm Carissa Codell, Fox 49 News.